a situation where just the other day, uh, Congressman Moran was on MSNBC and he said, I don't know what our problem is. The recession's over. <laughs> and um, Chris Matthews quickly went to commercial. <laughs> but uh, th this is a guy who's out of touch who had a YouTube video that went viral not too long ago where he was saying, you know, all these people that earn all this money and they think they just get to keep it. <laughs> Go to our website, we've got a link on there. It is, it is a, he is, this guy is out of touch, and uh, he's a guy who defaults to blaming America first when it comes to foreign policy and national security, and who wants to have the federal government as far deep in your pockets as possible, and that is not what our founders intended, and that is not what we're about. And when I think about um, the Constitution, I call it our owner's manual, and if we can just go back to our basic <coughs> principles, you know, that, I've been telling you the bad news. The good news is that we live in the greatest country in the history of the world and that we are uniquely predisposed and uniquely resilient and no matter what confronts us, what challenge confronts us, if we adhere to our basic principles, if we adhere to the Constitution, we can turn all of our challenges into victories and we can emerge stronger than we were. But it's up to us. The first three words of the Constitution are, we the people. And I think that says a whole lot about where the genius of the American public resides, the energy, the strength. It doesn't say the federal government in order to form a more perfect union. It doesn't say the Congress. It doesn't say the President. It says, we the people. And so, that's us.